million bit axes to equal an exa hash. And if you have 1 million bit axes mining, they're solo mining, at current network difficulty, that means that one of those bit axers would solve a block and get the full block reward every four days, which is kind of amazing. Like once we have someone, you know, like one person a week solving a block and getting the full block reward, I think that sells the next million. Um, but, you know, I, I tell people, an individual bid axe is insignificant. You have no chance. But we're not just selling one. We're going to get lots of these out there because they're so cheap. There's such a low barrier to plugging one in and running it that we're going to get lots of these out there. And, you know, if we have 5 million of them, let's see, what is it right now? We're at, we're at 553 exahash. I got my little oh, dashboard right. on my desk here. So, I mean, if you round but, up, that's like 1% of the network. <laughs> Yeah, we have 5 million of them, that's 1% of the network. And it would be interesting, I think it would be very interesting to see what happens when we have, you know, 1% or more miners on the network who don't care at all. They don't care what the hash price is, right? They're not going to unplug. They've probably forgotten about it. Like, what does that do to the market dynamics of mining when you have so many people that aren't doing this for a for-profit business. It's just inconsequential how much it costs them to run or if they're losing money or making money. I think, that, I think that changes the market dynamics a lot and it'd be very interesting to see sort of what the rest of the network does.